the call of the road. He was a good, quiet motorcyclist until one day he rode his motorcycle down the wrong road. That's when everything changed for him, and it changed him forever. He tries to be a safe rider, but the truth is he loves the risk, the control, and the potential to lose it all. He's addicted to the ride and the uncertainty. The thrill of the ride, no matter how long, is his drug of choice. He needs that rush. He has to ride. As he headed down the multi-lane road, a motorist merged into his lane without warning, causing the biker to break hard to avoid a collision. The biker blared his horn, but the motorist sped off remorseless. This, unfortunately, was not an unusual happening for the biker. Other motorists regularly cut him off as though he were invisible. The worst was the time a car turned left in front of him in a busy intersection. Only heavy braking and a swerve at the last split second had kept him from disaster. He often wondered how motorists could so consistently fail to see him on his bike. Despite all the near disasters, he always managed to make it through. Since so many motorists acted as though he were invisible, he had long ago decided to ride as though he were. The biker noticed a police officer behind him with cherries blazing, motioning him to pull over. The police officer told the biker he was looking for a black motorcycle that had blown through a red light several blocks back at 10 miles per hour over the speed limit. Despite his protest, the cop ticketed the biker for speeding at 10 over. The biker knew he had been a bit over the speed limit, but if he had gone through a red light, he sure as hell hadn't noticed it. He was an aggressive rider, but cautious and defensive at the same time. The biker wanted to fight the ticket, but he really had no idea how fast he'd been going. He felt pissed at the cop, at himself, and the world. As soon as he was out of the officer's line of sight, he sped back into traffic. He felt the wind blowing in his face, and the anger started to melt away, as it always did. He felt invincible. Suddenly, a truck swerved in front of him. He barely had time to hit his brakes before he heard the sound of crushing metal and breaking glass. In the next instant, the biker was on the pavement, tumbling and sliding out of control. As his body came to rest, the biker could see bones sticking out of his left leg through torn jeans. Despite wearing a helmet, he had an immediate crushing headache. There was intense pain just below his chest. As he attempted to move, the pain only intensified. It was at this sickening moment that the biker realized he could not feel his legs. Suddenly, there was an old man, framed by the sun. The old man told the biker what he already knew. He hadn't seen him. The old man apologized repeatedly as the biker slipped into shock. The biker awakened in a hospital bed, not knowing how much time had passed. His leg had been splinted back into place, but he still couldn't feel anything below his waist. The drugs they had given him must have been incredible, as he could barely feel pain in his ribs. He could see in the mirror facing his bed that his face was more scab than skin. Now he has no idea what comes next, or what to do. He's busted up, scared, and has no idea how he'll pay for what's to come. 